Hello, everybody, and welcome to another, another episode of Let's Play Mega Man X2. Last time, we beat the first five Robot Masters and accidentally just screwed ourselves over, making us unable to fight against, uh, well, to defeat all the X-Hunters in time. In this episode, we're going to beat the X-Hunters and finish the game. Now, one thing I'd like to mention this, I found this out! Apparently, from from looking at a, a song from Dustman stage, Dustman was created with, by the creator of One Punch Man. Yeah, Yusuke Maruda, or Murata, the creator of One Punch Man, created both, uh, well, uh, both Dustman and Crystal Man, because he won the boss, ca uh, the boss con character contest, which is which was released for every game past three. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, later on you you would become uh yeah, you also apparently create many uh uh drawings in the Rockman and Rockman X uh official complete works, creating an illustration of Capcom Heroes Calendar tw uh, tw uh 2012, uh promotional battle memory for Rockman X over in 2013 in a, in a wallpaper for Rockman Unity. Well the Rockman X over never existed by the way. It was cancelled the moment it was released. So, oh no, no, I know X Over was. Never mind. X Over was one of those. It was, it was a Mega Man X game that has lost media because it was an app in Japan only that sucked. It was the only thing announced for the 20th anniversary, like the 25th anniversary of Mega Man that was ne that was not cancelled. Or was the 20th? What are you there? Anyways, let's actually start this game by going into the deep sea base with Bubble Crab. I actually like Bubble Crab, honestly. I think it's a bad rap a lot of time. Bubble Crab! Let's blaze heat mix. So we're going or Bubble Crab. Or Bubbly Crabloss! A pulverizing demon of the ocean depths. The Lation Mavericks, uh, but was formerly a Maverick Hunter. Weapon is the Bubble Slash and weakness is Spin Wheel because it cuts through his bubbles. Once a member of the Maverick, once a member of the Maverick Hunter's sick naval unit, Bubble Crab was an extremely greedy individual who was, who was only ha too happy to affect the Sigma. It would be, it would, ha if it would help better to pad his bank account. As a member of Sigma's Maverick Army, Crab was tasked with defending their deep sea submarine base and managing temp transportation. But yeah, Bubble Crab is greedy and is all about that money. He would also melt people down into uh in with his bubbles into uh orbs, like to pearls that he would sell. Yeah, messed up Bubble Crab. Also, by the way, here's the magnet mine. He says fix something and it explodes. Doesn't have a effect that in uh other game, but now I need to find out a way to destroy this thing without, uh, well, you know. Alright, let's see how to destroy this guy. Also, use, uh, the fire weapon underwater, it won't work. Alright, yeah, I'll shoot bubbles. Anyways, let's use, uh, mines. And there's a laser part of it that will shoot out, but what we need to do is basically destroy its, uh, each part of it in order to create, uh, in order to create a path for us, so... Okay. Ow, ow, god. Also, we cannot get any of the power-ups here, sadly, because of, uh, one thing. Literally, and I wish I was kidding this, uh, we do not have the means to jump high enough. We need the buster upgrade, which is available in Wheel Gator, in Wheel Gator stage, and also, uh, we... Okay. I'm just gonna ju uh, jump into it and just keep spamming. Because we need to destroy this thing fast. Okay. I should destroy its light. It's been now, and there we are. Perfect. Okay, that's a hit. Wait, no, there's a certain weapon you use in here! I remember now. It was not, it's not, uh. It's. Oh, it's Junk Shot! That's what you use in here! If you use Junk Shot in there, you can, you can get some items. That was what it, that's how those room works. It's not by enemies, it's by freaking junk shot. That makes sense. By the way, in order to jump high enough, we need Bubble Crab's own weapon and the Buster upgrade. But because we destroyed that Maverick, uh, we now can go to another part of the stage. Well, that fish. We now go to this part of the stage. And we also want to grind some HP. Thank you. Because Oh, thank you. Because we're about to fight the hardest of the X-Hunters. In my personal opinion, base. Well, on base. Ah, 
add more. Also, if this stage sounds familiar, if you played X5, Bubble Crab's theme was remixed in X5 as a as the stage of Tidal Whale, or the iconic name that he's most known for, Duff McWhalen. You will not see that name on this channel because I have a patch. And I can go and close that up and face up against Violin! Or the name for Violent. <laughs> I'll crush you with my power! V -v 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 Violin! I can find his thing, Wild Jungle. That's we won't see that guy for until the PS2. Wind Crow Ring, Wire Sponge, Wheel Gator, Volt Kraken, uh, Violin. Also known as Neo Violin. Uh, he is he is a he's a well X Hunter, which uses wields a head mounted spike chain mace that he uses at the end of his hair, kind of being like a uh, like a braid, basically. He also ha is weak to the bubble splash, which is the what which ironically is the stakes in. If surges with the brains of the of the Xander adds with the charisma, then Violin was unquestionably the brawn. In fact, so much emphasis was put on his strength that his thinking circuits remain incomplete, making him a perfect enforcer for the group. Yeah. He's literally uh He is literally not smart enough to do this. He is literally made wrong. And his violin is very difficult because he basically has a ball that flings everywhere. And they also shoot bullets out. I was surprised I dodged that first hit. Oh god. It tends to home in a bit. But it basically bounces off everything. This way page takes it to where it bounces. We should be fine. Oh! Oh. Okay, it's not too hard if you actually learn the pattern a bit. Like, well, very little pattern there is. Because there is one. Because it makes violence so hard, he doesn't really have a pattern. He just does whatever he wants when he feels like it. Ow. No! Oh! Okay. Die! <laughs> Where are you hiding such power? Where are you hiding such power? You got X Zero body parts. And we got Zero's body. Ah! He just threw his, uh, his torso at us. And here we get a, a hidden piece of the of the stage that you wouldn't- well, actually. Never mind. I always want to get some HP. I'm gonna go down. This is where you would have entered in if you, uh, if you fought the X-Hunter. Well, if you didn't fight the X-Hunter, uh, you would go through that area. Sad that we won't be able to experience the other thing, though, known as uh, Surge's his, his base form. Because he actually has a pretty fun fight, if I remember right. Okay, I need that. Okay, I needed that, but never mind. Oh, I need, I need that, though. Ow, my face. And let's fight against Bubble Crab. Without his, with his weakness, pretty easy. With, without his weakness, pretty hard. For he has a shield that he'll constantly absorb your shots with. And relative water levels. Blink. He also has horns. That, are, that actually are his claws, which I think is a pretty cool detail. Ow. You want, the main thing you want to do is jump above him, but it gets rid of his, uh... He also makes mini bubble crabs. So that's what activates his, uh... His claws, so then you can just shoot him. Okay, never mind. Without his claws, he's pretty easy. Maybe you should just dodge these things when they drop down. Or just shoot them. You also will shoot that's his weapon, the bubble the bubble launcher, by the way. His weapon that he'll that he uses and he, like they get from him. That is where he shoots like that little bubbles from his mouth. That's actually it. It's based on the fact that uh, crabs can can shoot air bubbles out of their mouth when they're uh, when they go into air. Uh, that's what Bubble Crab's reference to. Also, he has the little stalks above his head, which are those little blinking lights. I think it's a pretty cool detail. 
I'd say. Okay. There. Boop. Okay. Boop. Ah. Uh. Kaboom! Okay. Good. By that fish monster, what well, it was called the sea caffler. Or cantler, I'm no, sorry. And we get our new power bubble! Up in bubble splash! Yeah, it's useful. And now we just have one guy. Yeah, as you see, uh, surges will never land up back up down. So, we still can't get it because we need the arm parts which we get from Wheel Gator. Anyways, Robot Junkyard stage. But boss Morph Moth. Now, the arm part, no, the chest piece is actually on the stage. We can't get it though. Why, you may ask? Well, it's in the floor. And <laughs> we need a freaking Wheel Gator's thing again. Darn thing. Alright, it's Megman X, after X. After Metal Shark Prayer, there we are. Morph Moth was known as Meta Matamor Moth uh Menos. Metamor Moth Moth Menos. Fallen Angel of the Dream of the Island of Dreams. Filiation is the Maverick, swept as a silk shot, a basically a shot of uh, junk. No weaknesses, fire based attacks, just flame burner and Z it and uh uh yeah, basically fire weapons. The mis a mysterious replicate who emerges during the second during the second Maverick uprising. Morph Moth was ordered to occupy a robot junkyard filled with the remaining er, with the remains of uh, Reploids and Mechanoids who were retired during the First War Sigma. There, there his job was to use the materials to not only resurrect those who had fallen to rebuild Sigma's army, but to create new soldiers as well. But fun fact, uh, Morph Moth is currently in a larval state. Not uh, it's not a normal state of uh, being, as he would as he would be no. Uh, like, well, as he was in his, uh, his current boss. Anyways, free freeze this guy. Jump over him, and jump up here to receive yourself an extra life and the heart piece. Right. This is basically a gravity generator that'll suck you up. Uh, yeah. Anyway, here's the, the, uh, the piece, by the way. We can show it if we do this. Yeah, we need to dig in the floor here. For the chest piece. Oh, actually, actually, this weapon should probably be pretty useful, actually, thinking about it. It's this guy, too. Yeah, pretty useful, honestly. Sonic Slicer is probably the best weapon in the game, though. Where it's, uh, it's many hits and it shoots multiple versions of the attack. Dicing that guy to bits. Darn. Okay, that destroys those guys in one hit. Nice. Anyways, and here is a new enemy with the speed burner and face off against Paroid S38, a parasitic droid. That basically is what he's using to revive old Mavericks. The fl the speed burner is the sky's weakness. Actually, no, it's Sonic Slicer. Speed burner is the weakness of the uh, of the main of that thing in there. Now you just use speed burner and burn it to death, and it should die in one hit. Kaboom. Those things, by the way, they latch on your back, they'll parasitize you and basically force you to constantly do an action. You can move them off. Anyways, over there, I think, is where the X Hunter location is, but don't quote me on that. Ow. No. Uh. Okay, there. That's just yeah. That's the X Hunter location. Can't do anything about it though. Sadly, there's X Hunter. There are X Hunter being gone. Ooh, actually, what this? 
time. Not being able to wall jump. Well, air dash. Or actually, no like parts. Uh. Okay. Okay. Ow. And there's, there's nothing here that we can really get, so just head down. Uh, okay, okay, this weapon is pretty darn good, I'm just gonna say that. Magnet mine. It basically does multiple explosions or damage. There we are. Basically, it does a stick damage and an explosion. Thank you. And now I'll put the Sonic Slicer again, because now we're fighting the old enemy in high. The, possess the possessed Reploid in high G. Also, this thing is also weak to Bubble Splash. I was going to showcase. Ow, my face. But Speed Burner does the trick to burn. Oh, it lived. Now, the thing, if you t if you wait too long, we'll repossess the Reploid and basically get out of the ground. So you want to make sure it dies. Oh, that works pretty well, too, I say. <laughs> Grab the energy out of the air. Okay, that's an enemy. That's an enemy. That worked really well. Wow, Magnet Mine really is a lot better than I thought it would. I don't know how good it was. Also, I never actually showed showcase. You jump into the door while jumping. <laughs> You'll do the animation. And now let's fight Morph Moth, who isn't complete. They're in, a, they're in a larval stage, as I said before. They'll swing around, basically trying to swing into you. You just shoot them, and they'll eventually fling off and, and shoot Silk Shot everywhere. We basically just sort of junk. A hunk of garbage. You also dig to the floor, shooting more junk up and about. He'll be immune to all shots while he's in this form, so I just warn you. When he goes up, he'll eat all that junk and he'll spit it out as as attacks. But if you pay attention slowly, he's kind of growing, isn't he? Take too long and he'll mutate, but do enough damage to him. He'll fall off the string, blow the ceiling up, and transform into uh, metamorphosize into morph moth. You'll rain put down poison gl uh, glitter. You'll shoot beams of rainbow. Uh, he's a pretty good mapper, honestly, and probably one of my favorite fights in this game. Again, I I really like the design. I like the, uh, the little thing about him ha having a metamorphal stage and being one of the only mappers with two phases. Also, he's pretty fun to fight with the Buster. Unlike some mavericks, Magnus Centipede looking at you. Anyways. <laughs> Mothmanos. Metamor Mothmanos. And we get ourselves a good weapon. You get Silk Shot. Or Junk Shot, I should say. Junk Shot is a unique weapon. Depending on the stage you're in, Junk Shot does different effects. For example, on a, light, on a leafy stage, it has a leafy. It changes into a leafy type of weapon. I'll just showcase it right now, because we're going to exit and, and, and enter them early. I'll just showcase it. As you saw there, it shoots kind of like a rock. But on this stage... I shoot it. Yeah, it's leaves. Instead of being in the other version, it was poor. Having a basically a raining down reject. Oh, never mind, it's just useless. It's probably one of the most unique weapons in the game. Also, here's the example of weapons they can use on it. You can hit this in order to make it neutral weather. You can shoot magnet mine to build it up. You can shoot with this to make it summer. I will. And shoot this to make it uh mist. Oh. Make it misty. Then you shoot that to make it rain to make it rain. I will. Pretty cool. I just want to show that off for his stage. You wanna do that for this area, by the way. If you wanna do for best platforming. Just showcase that off. And for uh another example for the desert phase. Silk shot will be different. It'll be a, a, a chunk of a motorcycle. No showcase in this because why not? Built it having enough time. Deep sea. It'll be different. It'll shoot some of, some of the rocks we're on. And bounce a bit. You like sea rock. The reason why I'm showing this is because it's only for these stages and you'll never see it anywhere else. This will basically shoot another piece of junk.
for Volcano Zoo, for Volcano Zoo, let's shoot a rock, for Volcano. So the computer zone, it, uh, well, so for Peter, he'll shoot I, uh, more junk. But the last unique area it should actually has something in is the, uh, the Crystal Paves. Which, by the way, is a favorite looking stage in this game. It'll shoot a Crystal Beast that'll bounce instead of shattering. Until it hits a wall. Or an enemy. This is cool. I just want to show those off real quick, so you can enter and exit stages real quick. If you want to pass that time into things, just showcasing more of the unique little detail that the original Egg Mega Man X games had. Anyways, it's time for the last stage in the game. Oh boy, the dinosaur tank. Boss Wheel Gator. If I can boot up this thing. Uh, Wheel Gator, or Wheel Gates, the evil fanged heavy tank. His affiliation to the Mavericks, uh, but formerly was a Maverick Hunter, but it's a spin wheel, little saw blades, and is no witnesses of the strike chain, because it'll pull him out of his of his bleak of oil. Wheel Gator's fearsome power and thick armor combine with an evil temper to make one of the most dangerous foes X faced in the second Maverick Uprising. Gator was a hunter in the Sixth Armada, a naval unit that specialized in waterborne missions. His pension for aggression made him a problematic soldier from day one. He was expelled from the Maverick Hunters after he attacked a comrade so viciously that he left a tooth lodged in the unfortunate hunter's body. Though unsurprisingly, Gator's blocks for violence made him an attractive recruit for Sigma. When Gator signed up for the Maverick cause, he was given control of a huge tank that built a Triceratops. Paleontologists assured us, actu assured us actual cer uh, Ceratopsians were, are pro were probably quite gentle, but there was nothing peaceful about the Dinosaur Tank's citywide rampages. Because, yeah, the Dinosaur Tank is right now rampaging through Able City after, you know, recovering from being nuked. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Able City has been nuked. Uh, but a little bit. Uh, in, in, uh, during S1. Well, some of it was. This is the rest of Able City. Which is right now being its ravaged by a giant war machine. Now. I guess we need to carve our way through these, uh, these, uh, pig tanks. Looking like they came out of the Pig Max army. And over there! Also, here's what happens when you shoot it. It's just a piece of junk again. Over here, click the strike chain, and get ready for a really, uh, really, really close jump. Jump. Okay. You basically need to jump at a certain angle. Okay. Close, but not with a cigar. Okay. Basically, you need to jump at a right angle, and... I thought that was through a wall, me. And also, hold it and jump. Now, it's much easier to do with the leg parts after you get the guy, but... You know, you need to leave this weapon for everything in this game, so I thought I would do it with a strike change to showcase another thing the strike change is useful for. There it is. To get ourselves the arm parts. Our next Dr. Light Capsule, which we missed everything. Step inside, and you will receive parts that strengthens your X-Buster. With it, you will be able to charge energy in both arms at once. This enables you to shoot a double shot or charge to any weapon. Here is my favorite X-Buster arm upgrade in the series next to the 4th Armors. The Double Charge Shot. And it's so strong. The Double Charge Shot. One shot is, is a stronger version of the regular Buster. The other one is one is a shot that ignores iframes. You need to actually combo these. Instead of, you know, what X, whatever X3 tried to do. Anyways, jump on this. And, d and use these platforms to so jump across this huge thing of spikes. And... Okay, I missed that entirely. Ow. You also charge weapons. So, first up first is this weapon. Which, its, it's charge ability is Time Freeze! For everyone, including you. So, it's useless. I mean, it can help you, but you with reaction time. Bubble weapon. Creates a shield, which makes you jump higher and basically uh, hurts enemies that touch you. Silk shot creates a giant uh, ball of silk that appears in front of you. A uh, wall of junk that I basically use as a melee weapon, right, or just shoot it out, which basically just do a bigger junk shot. The sonic slicer basically uses it as well, it was shown in his battle. Basically shooting up and then down. Not pretty useful later. Strike chain just makes a bigger strike chain. 
That's it. Magnet mine basically creates a black hole that, we can, that, that uh, you can control. I have completely whipped that off screen, but basically you can make a mini black hole that you can control however you want. And, and then here is the coolest power. Flame Stags gives you an air dash. Yep, which, which allows you to do, which allows you to combo with your with a uh, well with your normal dashes to to get insane speeds. Also, go over this way and you can find a little uh, drop off ramp. There's no reason for it, but it's there. But I always use the rabbit right armor again to punch our way through. And we have to abandon the armor right away. Now, here is how you're supposed to get that that heart tank here. Dash up, boop, and use the air dash. Very right cool. That is the that is the air dash I mentioned by the way. And that's the example of the level star shot. Also, you can see how many rabbit ride armors they have in the background. Because yes, this is a war machine, so preparing for war. At least this this what this charge shot will come in handy for uh, Mr. Real Gator himself. Anyways, rather think up and get to the other uh, piece of the uh, the X Hunter the X Hunter bases. Uh, well, not X Hunter base, but virtual life in an X Hunter uh, thing. If you know what I mean. Also, depending on how fast you went to the stage, then it will either be day or night, depending on how on when you leave, or sometimes even sunset. Pretty cool. I was in there too long, so it's nighttime right now. Actually, I think it's based on how many Mavericks you fight. Pretty cool detail, I'd say. Why? Okay, there we are. And over here is a secret energy hidden behind that wall. Also, we need to see one more energy thing and we're done. Ah, my face. Magnet mine. Magnet mine. Ah, it took so much damage from that. How? Because we have to fight ourselves against, in my opinion, the hardest boss in the game. Next, that isn't a fortress boss or anything. The hardest regular robot, uh, Maverick. In a lake of oil, which basically, by the way, just to remind you, the blood of, uh, of Reploids. Real Gator basically spends most of the fight under this, under that lake of oil, causing waves, and shooting up the Wheel, Ga Wheel Gator's weapon. He'll shoot up two, and then he'll, he'll jump out of the waves, out of the thing, and try to grab, and he'll try to bite you. Most, sometimes he does more than two, but, yeah. He will reach up here, so be careful! And sometimes he'll shoot, he'll, uh, well, do that, and then he'll shoot out wheels. He'll roar. But if you're not careful, you can actually, uh, uh shoot a, a, a half charge shot instead of a fully one charge one? Wow, you're not proving my point. Anyways, of you be, being really hard. I'll showcase his other attacks. There's another one of those. Where basically he drills spikes into the wall, making it so now I can't jump on the part of the wall because it'll hurt me. He also has another move where he can shoot his teeth out. I they mentioned about like their teeth lodge in his opponent, because he literally shot his teeth out at someone. I missed. More spikes. Okay. Level char Buster really helps, I'm just gonna say that. Uh, are you gonna never mind. Just do that. And destroy Wheel Gator once and for all. Well, we'll fight him again soon, but anyways. Now it's time to go back to the stages and claim some of the stuff we missed. Well, other than unlocking the X-Hunter stages. Because... You get... Wheel or Spin Wheel. Basically, we have a little wheel cutter. But... Cutscene. I'm sorry, X. One of the X-Hunters appeared. He stole Zeros and... 
They've returned to their base and intended on reviving Zero him as a maverick. I tracked them to point zero zero, the North Pole, but... Dr. Kane, I'll put an end to this and save Zero. Put an end to this and save Zero. Save Zero. Anyways, we unlock the X-Hunter base location. Which basically is x Hunter stage, boss, question mark, question mark, question mark. We have some stages to return to. For one, we have... We don't have to return to you. We need to return to you, Morph Moth. Because we need your leg parts. Oh, well, not leg parts, your body parts. It's all that we can show off a wheel gator's spin wheel. Yeah. It basically is a wheel that shoots across the ground. The charge version is a... I, I messed the charge version. Charge version, it basically is a huge explosion. Now on that place that we that we couldn't uh well that was there originally, take to the floor. Easy way to do this is with this weapon. Which digs a straight hole. I can't believe I just I left one piece of it left. Anyways, take that out. And you'll find the body part. Here, I will give you an, an enhancement for your body armor. With it, you can absorb damage and transfer it into explosive weapon energy. Now, that isn't like how it seems. First, 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 energy? No. It's talking about the Giga Attack. This is the first example of the Giga Attack of the series. Body part giving an ability that basically allows X to release an explosive piece of power. POW! It recharges through damage, though it only really hurts enemies that I don't want to use it in this game, because the crush is kind of bad. Anyways, that's that. All we have to get from here. We already got everything else. So now we have Flamestag, we got the, the thing, we central computer, we need you. Oh wait, no, we can't do this one yet, because we don't... Actually, we do, because we have, uh... Uh... Also... Neat. We have, uh... Also, just get hit. Just dash through them all. You also take half damage, by the way, they forgot to mention that. Also, yeah, I didn't charge the Giga Attack, have you noticed? It only recharges through certain types of damages. I don't tend to use it, I'm just gonna say that. Really? Oh, I'm getting that. That's a free E-Tank energy. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Alright. So the flame burner. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I, I got ah, too close. Or too far. Nah, barely. I think you can actually use the Nah. I think you can use Wire Sponge's weapon to actually reach farther. <sighs> if you're very quick, you can switch to Strike chain? Nah, no, it wasn't fast enough. There we are. And we get ourselves our, our any e tank. Another tank gotten. <laughs> And next up next is there's a base, but you got we need to get your leg parts. So we need to head to that at the end of the stage. So see you in a bit. Actually no, we can get the theme blitz through the stage pretty quickly. Also over here is how you're supposed to get to the X Hunter uh, boss. It's over here. Okay, and let's use the the ride chase the uh, ride chaser. I think it's uh, yes, it's called the ride chaser. We basically, head across, and let's not dash at all. Let's just mash the button and actually destroy the wind jet turbine. It's fun. 
where basically you throw, we fling ourselves into it, and it explodes. Also, I like this game has some really cool uh, armor colors for X. Just take the damage. Also, that's one of the examples from the can charge that. If you hear that noise, that means it's charging. Anyways, over here, take out the spin wheel and cut through these to get the leg parts. Enter this capsule. Inside, I will grant you an upgrade that enhances your aerial mobility. With it, you should be able to, air to effortlessly dash in midair. Yes, we get the air dash. No longer requiring the, uh, you know, the ability to, well, dash with the, you know what I mean. Anyways, we now can dash in air. We also now double air dash, which is one of the reasons why I think this is one of my favorite armors as well, is the weapon collection in this game. We now do a double air dash. Yep, and dash even farther. So now we just have one stage to go to, which is Bubble Crab. Because Bubble Crab has two things we are missing. The heart tank and the sub tank. Which both require bubble crab weapon and the arm parts. One of the reasons that the stage is kind of a you know, kind of a hard one. Also they nerf the uh the, the drop rate on bats. Just keep them on the floor. Also, uh if you want to destroy this thing fast, equip the uh, strike to beat this weapon and charge it. Get under it. Down it goes. It's dead. Two strike chain juices. Anyways, use the bubble set. Charge it up. Nickel shield, and you just jump up like crazy now. There we are. And we can jump up here to get ourselves any tank. We want to swap out the weapon though, because you know, we kind of need the main weapon energy. Boop! And now we have full health. We are a super being who cannot die. Well, basically cannot die. Still can die, but we are, we are so tanky that it's kind of almost impossible. Also here is where you need the other piece of it. Boop! Okay. Dash jump up here. Yep, there we are. Because of the weird way that water works, if you get to a uh okay. Yeah. Basically water you're able to kinda like dump that dash through. Timer, right? I see you're kind of able to jump on water. There we are. And now I have everything. But I do want to head over here real quick and jump down here. Because in here, the silk shot is different. You silk shot, nothing comes out. Do this. Or, never mind, not here. Is it silk shot? No, it's not that weapon. Is it not that weapon? This weapon? No. What is it? It's, well, I know an area in here, they're supposed to use the... A, one of the... Ch a charged weapon. In order to, uh, get some energy. Is it you? Not there, I guess. Okay. I guess we'll use it in another stage. Wait, no, it, it's not... It's like the area, but not. It's, I think, more down here. Never mind. Alright. Anyways, I'm gonna quit the stage. So I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, I'll show you in this stage, jump up here. Not there. Like, from here. 
and you dig through this wall. That, also, there's something up there. Oh, that's the other path. Anyways, you can dig through this wall. Basically, uh, get ourselves to the X to the X hunter area. We should go right up those things. And you can drop down there in order to get out. Just a cool little area. What should we talk about? Well, I freaking love the second art, the, the full, this armor, this design. Probably one of my favorite designs of the franchise. Anyways, you want to destroy this guy? Apparently, Sonic Slicer. So that makes sense, but I think that a better weapon, honestly, is uh, this. Because it looks cooler. There we are. Is this the right area? This one? If I'm right, if you use Silk Shot in here, that's what I was thinking about. I think you'll get uh, health or weapon energy, one or the other. You always know, charge the buster, and it'll pull in a bunch of weapon energy. Okay. Bubble Crab has the energy one. So be right back. Alright. Over here in this hole is our silk shot location. Okay. Charge it up. And pull on a bunch of health. You want to refer to sub tanks? This is the way. There we are. Full charged. Alright, let's go fight ourselves some X Hunters. So, up against. In the X-Hunter base in the North Pole, we have one of my favorite ages, the Mega Man. Well, the themes of Mega Man. One of the reasons I freaking love the sound chip. We're on our, the warpath now. We're gonna charge our way through this force, uh, through six, well, the X-Hunter forces, and tear them a new, like, uh, well, a couple new uh, mouths. I guess. Anyways, jump up these, uh, these crusher walls for much bigger now. Anyways, here is pretty dangerous. These crusher walls will now have little differences in their architecture, basically crushing it more. There, shoot him down. Do that, just destroy that guy. And here's, uh, not the most dangerous. The most dangerous is coming out. There's two areas, a bottom path and a top path. I'm going with the top path, because it's fun. Unless the bottom path leads to... I actually show the bottom path off, why not? These are extra life. Okay. And this is what, uh, and then you have to do some spikes. The other way is a crusher that's pretty annoying to deal with. There it is. There's the crusher, by the way. Okay, so you keep jumping. Uh, uh. Oh, that's the wall. And now put yourself the bubble splash. That's X on the stage one, dealt with superbly. Meet Neo Violin. No quotes, just instant battle. This gimmick blocks, making it harder slash easier to dodge him. He also has weakness now, so you can just tank him. Depending on where his blocks are, you can go create a, a shield and a, uh, a bit of a weapon for him to use. Okay, I'm getting destroyed. Change those blocks, please. 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 And then he and then after you do that, violence defeated. 
You, you're trying to tell me that you've suppressed me? Unbelievable! Ah! No new. Defeat violins in correct circuits. Just pour the water on them. <laughs> and then he, uh, sword circuits and dies. This is why you do your circuitry, correct? <laughs> Anyways, this each of these will basically be dealing with one of the, the ex-hunters. Defeat with violin. And now we have one more. Which is good old. Now we're gonna deal with Surges, the one that we never fought. Honestly, he probably should have been last. Honestly, for his importance, the story and everything. And plot. Anyways, welcome to X Hunter 2. Water. Well, if you notice, we aren't fighting the we aren't fighting the Robo Masters in this in this thing in the stages anymore. That's because this game went back to the the X the Mega Man X uh, well the Mega Man style of having them all at the end instead of the Mega Man base Mega Man One style, which I. Honestly, I prefer. I'm just gonna say that. Helps make the stages feel a little more impactful. Also, by the way, Sigma isn't reviving them as they, as they originally were with personality and everything. They're basically mindless drones. I forgot to mention that. That according to Maverick Hunter X, which isn't canon, but hey, it's, it still holds some things over to explain some certain parts. And that's just a really cool one. It basically recreates their, their bodies and not their personalities. Anyways, now we wait for this part to drop down. Alright, jump up here. And avoid the flames by hanging on the sides. Ow, but sometimes you can just get like that. Now here you want to use the Crystal Splash. Use the Crystal Weapon to freeze these guys and jump across the pit. You could use the the crystal weapon, or the other the crystal the, the gate gator weapon to chop that down and create another spike path. Okay. I'm just gonna quick save because I think you need the flame weapon for this. Do the double air dash, because this game does expect you double air dash! Yeah, okay, that's the wrong weapon! Alright. Yeah, it's just an extra life, so I'm not gonna go there. Back guy down, and equip the Sonic Slicer. Actually, the Dust Shot. Or I should know, it would probably be the... this. So, equip yourself with this, and... Jump on these platforms, because... Huh, that looks familiar! Uh, so Surges. Surges is a very interesting character, lore-wise. He is... I'll, I'll read a little bit more of his bio, just uh, before I say anything. This is after Sigma, that's where I suck. That's where I keep... I, why do I keep going, going to him? Go to her? She's a secret boss. Anyways. Annalise says, none applicable. She's an X-Hunter. Weapon is mines in the Surges tank. He has no means to Sonic Slicer and Speed Burner and Rolling Shield, which was his simulation weakness. But anyways, with genius that is so said to be comparable to that of the legendary mad scientist Dr. Albert Wiley, Surges was the leader of the Maverick, uh, Maverick sub-faction known as the X-Hunters. In this role, he was the one responsible for the plan to resurrect and upgrade the Maverick Hunter to Zero, with designs on him to further his own scheme. Though Surges can send an unmeasurably high, nine competent and, and comparable intellect, he did not seem to be designed as a combat reploid, instead he used a variety of, of weapons and gadgets and devices as battles against Maverick Hunter X. For the first class, Surges wrote a floating spike platform, which, I mean, you can see that. But anyways... This is an interesting thing. They mentioned directly Dr. Wiley in his bio to talk about sur Surges in some of the dialogue about him. Anyways, he's basically worth as Dr. Wiley. And they blow up his cannon with the Giga Crush. And equip your... I'm about to eat a, uh, Sonic's, a ball to the face. Okay. And now equip the Sonic Slicer. You'll basically shoot one in the next, one in a, in a, in a, uh, in a that pattern. Anyways, this way to do that is to sit here and basically shoot, uh, Charge Sonic Slicers above him. In order to kill him. Hey, don't don't ask me why it's the most easiest way, the easiest strategy to do it. Ow, my face. 
and finale. Cut his, his tank open. Defeated by Light's robotic memento. Such a pity. Huh. That's an interesting piece of dialogue. And down goes Surges. Surges is an introdu introducing that not only did Dr. Light preserve his consciousness, Dr. Wily has as well into a more malicious AI. This is the first of many uh, appearances of Wily in the X-Series with Surges, his first body. Le well, it, well, yeah, I already said that, but anyways, Surges' first body was basically Dr. Wily at all along, who basically should have been the final stage, the X-Hunter stages. He should not have been the second boss, he should have been the final boss. I don't understand why they didn't. Also, fun fact, the X-Hunters. You know there's supposed to be a fourth female X-Hunter? But it was cut out of development because of time constraints. That's also why Violin doesn't really have a second form, and it's just a second first form again, but with blocks. X-Hunter stage 2. This one is an interesting one. We need to keep high HP for the basically the entire stage. For one reason, one reason only. Oh, well, frick. Peace for you. Thank you. Because there is another Easter egg in this area. Plus, that is a bottomless pit. Be careful. You can use the strike chain to get those, by the way, if you need. I don't need them, because I have full on both, so I'm fine. Up here is a platform that goes in all directions depending on how you step on it. Okay. This platform is pretty annoying, but you need to take this thing all the way up. I mean all the way up. Actually, no, it's not this one. The other one. Get these tanks from Beagle Gator's cage also return. Also, you can use the, uh... the... weapon that of a certain Fire Maverick in order to get that one. Okay, there. Okay. Now, you can make it up here without the platform if you so wish. But it very much is intended with you to fight with it. Well, to go up here with it, so I'm gonna go up here with it. Ow, my face. Here's you do that. This is really... Just get up there. No! <sighs> I hate this platform, by the way, if you can tell. There we are. Finally. Alright, you can use it to get those, but what you want to do is get the crystal bat. Oh, get the crystal weapon? Shoot. Okay. So the wrong weapon. And <laughs> blow them both up by accident. Dude. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, do this. Get that. Jump up here. Get an extra life. Just do that to get rid of that guy instantly. the crystal weapon in order to get down here. Also, uh... Uh, uh, okay. Silk shot? Okay, I'm... Oh, I'm injured. I... Okay, gear pack. Alright. I'm back. Silk shot this time. And basically blow these guys up. Just get over here, and now you need to equip the flame boost, and... Okay, wrong way. Okay, too late. Okay, make sure it's actually charged before I start. Okay. Okay, I'm doing this. I used to be able to do this perfectly. What the frick? There we are. And then slide down the left wall. So over in the third one, I think? Over here. 
no four. If you have full we if you have full uh, health and go through this area, you'll f and have every power by the way, you'll find a secret light capsule. My, you've done well to make it here, X. The ability this time is this. Get in here now. They never mentioned what it is, but this is the Shoryuken. The Shoryuken. Same input, by the way. Shoryuken. No, no mention the Shoryuken, which is forward down, uh, forward down forward. And I just think it's in, uh, easier than the Hadoken. I'm just gonna say that. Shoryuken. You have to be at full HP though. Just a warning. So, you can't just spam it. Okay, I need the Crystal Hunter again. Is it the Crystal Hunter? Yeah, Crystal Hunter. Freeze these guys into crystals. I missed. I want. And then the boss is weak to the Magnet Mine. But, you can easily defeat Surges with a- uh, well not Surges, Agile with a new technique. Also, Agile's new form. He's a tube. Why is he a tube? I don't know. But he's easily defeated by the story you can. But I'm gonna fight him legitimately. <laughs> but she's weak to magnet mine, by the way. That's his weapon. But uh, that's what his technique. He basically shoots him in the head with the with this as he slowly basically makes more plat spike platforms uh, land on you. And uh, that's basically how you beat him. He's not too hard. You can also shoot missiles in a freaking dark energy ball, which you can blow up with a magnet mine, apparently. I had no idea you could. Okay. And down he goes. Agile blows up. No! This can't be! Sigma Avengers! Well. What a twist! Sigma's still alive? Who could have thunk it? Yeah, who could have thunk it? You know, because of the twist for X1. <laughs> Mariff is hearing that a lot from me. <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> of course, that's the code. Anyways. Alright. Now we go into the final X Hunter stage. This is where the time crunch of the game and the sprite limitations really go into effect, so, uh, yeah, let's start. Name for this fact. This is. Just, oh wait, never mind. Never mind. Next, ne this next stage. Never mind. Actually, oh, huh, this area looks familiar. Looks like X ones. Oh, by the way, you never go through this teleporter. I'm pretty sure this was just X ones area. Let me jump through here. Two face against the egg. Eight Mavericks again. Basically, uh, I was wrong. It's the next area. Anyways, equip. Now we're gonna fight flame stack. So get yourself out the bubble weapon. He also starts off with blue flames. Basically, shoot him. Okay. Oh, never mind. I missed. Okay, there we go. He'll then shoot a fireball uh, up and down. Basically, you want to just uh, time it so you. Yeah. <laughs> That's easy. Yeah. That's how easy you can absolutely destroy some of the boss in this game, because yes, some of them start covering the extreme spark mantle syndrome again. Again, why I played them with the buster? Because I like fighting them as they were intended. Except maybe next next uh, uh, three, because next three has some ridiculous amounts of damage for enemies. Also, over here there are some health upgrades that, that respawn. So there's a small, a small, small, small. This is also a good place to recover energy if you need it. Okay. Uh, not weapon energy, uh, sub tank energy. And now you bubble crab. Put yourself with the, with the spine, with, this, with the wheel, and just shove it in his face. He is extremely weak to the wheel, so much so that basically just invalidates the boss by stabling his shield. Ow. Ow. Okay, never mind about the easy boss thing. Sorry about that. Sorry about the bubble crab, I kind of uh, talked crap and got hit for it. So the term. Anyways. Uh, 
This is a much better attempt. And zomp. Slash himself in half by landing on, his, on the saw blade. And my eyes. The blue. Please. <laughs> And down goes him. Alright. Structure weapon. Structure energy. Okay, I think that. Okay. I forget the pattern exactly of these bosses, but I think you're a Peter? No, you are, uh, you're a wire sponge. Which actually has one of the coolest animations if you defeat him with his, with his weakness. He is the only one with a unique. Animation that I think the franchise and the series for defeat. Sadly, because there's it's a really cool one. It basically, I think, inspired the, the Mega Man Zero series way of defeating Mavericks. Or uh, I guess they're called Neo Arcadians in that series. Or each each game has their own name for them. I think there's like the ones that I call like the four heavenly uh, like the like the uh, the generals of Neo Arcadia the. I forget exactly they're all called. Those are s and after you defeat them, whoosh, and you get animation plays where you cut him in half. Honestly, they should have gone more with that in the series, with unique death animations. Which they did for other enemies in this game. Well, well, actually not other enemies. They did it with the Zero series, and that's it. Zero and ZX. And I think this is all right out of Oxford Street. Nope, it's, uh, you. Flames. Burn the bug! Oh, I fire is weak against, uh, him because fire. I think it's kind of self-explanatory. Fire kind of kills things. It's just he bugs. You know, you're both drawn to a flame. Also, his weakness can actually hurt him while he's spinning. I think. Never mind, it can't. I was raising though. It's basically, it's basically, because we can use the term a moth to a flame. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna freaking air dash into him. I was curious about how much damage he did, but it hurt my body hard. Okay. Blow him up. Also, unique uh, animation where X starts breathing heavily when he gets hurt, by the way, which is pretty cool. Anyways, here's Wheel Gator. Oh boy! I hate Wheel Gator's hossness! Reason why? Wheel Gator's piece of crap? Okay, no, you can. If, you were, if you're fast, you can hit him right away, but. The thing about Wheel Gator is that weakness is kind of very short range for a boss that loves to be in short range combat with you. It also tends to make the boss longer, I tend to think. Ow. Like, because basically constantly makes him free surface. I just want to showcase actually how strong the energy thing is against him. And bosses. Not very. One damage. Yeah, very powerful strike. You say, uh, Mr. Light? If you say so. I think I should have pulled them towards us. He's gonna dash. Boop. Boop. Okay, that hit him twice. Do it from there. This is when the water starts to spill, so he's gonna start dashing out now. But doop. Get boop. Ah. He's almost dead. One more hit. Or two. He's gonna come out now. But doop. Boop. And down he goes. Hooked. Hooked like a fish on the line. Yeah, 
And what are you? I guess is Magnus Centipede. Oh no, okay, that is we'll, that is uh, over to the ostrich, which is weak to the crystal thing because it flip ball because it slows him down. It cuts crystal, it cases him crystal, makes it so he can't dash. You know, it makes sense. He weakens him. He's also one of the easiest bosses to defeat with his weakness. He's just jump in the air, get frozen, jump in the air, get frozen, jump in the air, get frozen, jump in the air, get frozen. I also like how his area is full of snow instead of sand in his, in his rematch because it's in, because the middle of the Arctic. You know? And down goes another boss. Get Medusa! I'm a reference in Greek mythology, by the way, if you don't know, if you somehow don't know what Medusa is. Anyways, there's Magnus Centipede. And then the last boss would probably be Crystal Snail. Wait, no, you're Crystal Snail! <laughs> I was like, wait, no, the room's too wide. Anyways, <laughs> Crystal Snail is probably the easiest map with his weakness. There's a one gimmick. Other than, uh, well, Mr. Uh, Basically, when you're playing his basal thing, keep away. You can't have this, you can't have this! Basically playing, uh, bat, uh, uh, freaking tricks from the playground. Basically constantly bouncing out in the air with your shits or dashes for him from actually getting his shit as well as shell. And also launching him out into the wall. It'll kill him? No. Sadly. Boop! Ah, crap. I'll just take, I'll absorb into, oh! Never mind! I was gonna absorb into a black hole, but never mind. He uh, blew himself up because he was gonna top time, and there's a mine there. That was a complete accident, by the way. I did not intend for that to happen. Now it's Mr. Shinobi Unit, but I actually feel really bad for him because he because he was brainwashed. He's not doing it on purpose. I'm always afraid way to free him from his brainwashing. Uh, actually, that could be a really cool game if there's ever a Maverick Hunter X2. Make the ball, make the playable character Magnus Centipede. Now here's his we here oh, here's his weakness. Uh, basically, it destroys his tail. Now he's a really easy boss. Basically you fire things, opposite directions. Oops. Problem is, he's now he'll not take forever. He's still constantly teleporting in and out teleport and unteleporting. They basically only be throwing shurikens. Okay, missed. Oop. There. Ow. Right. Hit him. Honestly, it might be bad more advantageous to just fight him with a buster. More fun. That way. You just do it with X Mavericks, honestly. For compared to Raw Masters, I prefer fighting with them with the Buster Blood Ball. Raw Masters prefer fighting their weakness, because it feels like they're, you know, more made to fight their weakness, less than, you know, stall them indefinitely. They actually can do things, but I do prefer with the Buster in general. Especially in uh, six. And Mega Man sucks, but anyways. I'm not talking about talking in circles because it's 11. Well, because I'm tired. I had, I had a long day at work. But, anyways, sorry. I'm kind of rambling. Anyways, after they'll destroy the, ba the base of school. It's been a while, X. Sigma? You're surprised? <laughs> it would seem that the X Hunters have failed. However, be at ease. I've got a surprise for you. Come to the central computer. I wonder what surprises. Woo! I'm up to your birthday cake. I'm joking around, by the way. Don't take that seriously. Anyways, now it's time for us to face up against. Oh, the, the X Hunter stage has been completely destroyed. Anyways, I need to be your back. See you in a bit. All right, I'm back. So let's go and face off against the X Hunters into the mid stage I was actually referring to. Hmm, this stage looks familiar. I wonder if it's any different. It's not any different. Right now. 
Yeah, this for Sigma's final sta stage is just the beginning of that, of, of freaking... What's his names? It's, it's his name, it's... Magnus Centipede stage, again, because that's actually x Hunter's base. Fun fact, I think if you're actually smart enough, you actually get up there and, uh, and get the heart piece in the stage. You haven't gotten it yet. If you're smart enough, if you, uh, if you haven't gotten it yet. But I'm pretty sure, uh, it's hard to, but I'm not sure. Actually, don't quote me, I'm, I'm actually not sure. I, I'm speaking gibberish. Sorry. I tr trust me, I'm not having a stroke. At the age of 21. But anyways, here's where things different. Include yourself with the speed burner, because we didn't get the good ending. Well, technically, well, not the good ending, but we didn't get the... Uh, well, you know. We didn't get what we, what, uh, all the zero parts. So. We had to fight zero. If you didn't, Sigma would arrive with a copy of zero, black zero, which then zero would destroy. But... We meet again in person, X. I've been counting down the days. Let's introduce ourselves, shall we? This is my new partner. Not long ago, you were comrades, but now he fights as freely as his heart desires. Meet Zero. With a new design. This design is... interesting. For one, he has a new buster. Two, he has a new weapon. And three, he has shoulder pads, and is a lot bulkier. One of the things about this new design is that Zero has a, well, a lightsaber. <laughs> Let's be honest, a lightsaber. Oops, that can cut through many things. He's weak to fire, and can also shoot three buster shots, and then dashes, and then punches the ground to make a huge quake. Zero is one of the hardest bosses in the game, from what from I remember. If you're not careful. Actually, no, what am I talking about? And they did a half shot, not there, which is pretty cool. Zero is probably one of my favorite bosses in this game, from a design from a design standpoint, but he's an optional boss. After you hit him enough times? Zero! X? Have you come to your senses? Zero! Yeah, you must have really wanted to see me again. If you risked your life with all of that noise. Anyway, I'll trust Central Computer. X, you chase after Sigma. Zero, you'll die. I've been through worse. Get on with it. <laughs> and he punches a hole through the floor. X. Sigma's true form awaits below. And quit the Sonic Slicer. And jump down into the core of Sigma's operation. And by that, I mean the core of the building. As you now fight inside of Magnus Enemies Arena. As Sigma appears as Neo Sigma, do you plan on interfering my plans forever? Planet, be prepared for your final journey. Okay, there. It is about time to show you my new powers. He's Wolverine. It is Neo Sigma, outfitted with a new body by the X Hunters. The best man behind the original Maverick War has resumed command over his troops as Neo Sigma. His body came equipped with a set of three retractable claws built in the back of each hand. He he could also use them to generate five balls of electricity around him with limited targeting ability, or charge up an electrical barrier attack called the Nightshade Electric Spark. Yes, he is utilizing his old weakness from X1. Usually as a way to taunt that he is now immune to electricity. Anyways, reminiscence of X charge weapon of its namesake finally possesses short-range teleportation capabilities, which he tried to get on the jump of X with a diving claw attack. The form was accessible to Sonic Slicer. Some layers Sigma would adopt this form once again during the major instance on Lugu's Island, where he proved vulnerable to zero drill cuts and dash maneuvers as well as the X Marine Tornado. So, let's fight. Sonic Slicer! You'll basically jump above, dive down, Sigma, and there he's using the E Spark. Yep, literally using Electric Spark. Yeah, if he hits you physically, it hurts. <laughs> it's... 
probably is one of my favorite fights and themes of Four Sigma from this series. I just, I, I love, I love Neo Sigma as a boss, and the prop, and you just see him in this game. He's a pretty cool boss. And I also can use the charge version of the Spark, which is pretty cool, as I mentioned. And down goes Sigma. Okay, never mind. There goes Sigma. Decapitated or chopped bits. Prepare thyself for a hard boss. This, in my opinion, is one of the hardest final bosses in the series. From if I remember. Or actually, no, I, I can handle this guy. X3 is harder. This is the Sigma virus. Sigma, again, like as I mentioned, Sigma is no longer any small, uh, like, reploid. He is a virus who can infect anything that he so wishes. When Neo Sigma was destroyed, Sigma appeared in his viral form for the first time on record and assumed and resumed his attack on X, appearing as a wireframe version of his own head. He attacked X from above with a viral laser beam titled from emitted from his mouth. He also used his viral summon shot to generate scri scribers and tyranoses and fishrins, fishrins as if it from it, as if from nothing. As he sustained damage, his hue changed from green to red, and he, as he would try to employ error and delete, which saw him disappear and try to reappear on X to drain his energy. His weakness is the strike chain. Also, sure you can. He's also weak to the sure you. But I'm gonna fight him legitimately with the strike chain. Okay, that's the viral viral laser. He can, now th those things can drop energy. It's pretty useful. If you, uh, if you hit, but hit him enough time, basically. That's useful. If you, he'll change to blue. So basically, it goes from blue to red. Ow. This is a pattern for now, but you'll... Actually, what am I talking about difficulty? This is like one of the easiest bosses in the franchise. Uh, because he, he, he gives you health. I want to talk about difficulty. Ooh, it gives you the means to defeat him. With health and weapon energy. And there's the, the error and the leap. Okay. You're back? I'm back. I'm just sending my cat. Anyways, it's dead. What am I talking about? Hardest boss? This is one of the easiest. Blah. Because it just sucks. Anyways, down goes Sigma. And it starts flipping out. And it starts screaming. And ouch. As you then get sucked to the main central computer, it explodes. X! It appears you bested me once more! But no matter how strong you get, I'll come back even stronger! If you think these transi transient victories have meaning, you're wrong! Even still, Zero, why? He was the last of the. Why? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting line. The last of the Y number. The Wily number. Yep. Zero. Is the last of Wily's creations. Same as X is too light. And with Surges being, being the one to reassemble him, Dr. Wily reassembling Zero from the from scratch. From, well, yeah. Because here's the thing this new body we've gotten is a new body. And not just any body. You see, Capcom is usually very integral with post X1 and before X10. Here's the problem post X10 appears in. The power battles too in base's ending. He who struck down Sigma and saved his friend, the Maverick Hunter X. By the way, he appears in that thing as what Dr. Wiley's talking about his newest plans for a robot, Zero. X ponders the reasons for the burning power surging from his body and his mind. Which, by the way, hints that this was always intended to be Zero's design. The one was he was basically a prototype body. 
before he died. Humans and machines. A peaceful world with two <laughs> contrasting lives coexisting with each other. But, yeah. That will be detailed more later in the series with more about Dr. Wiley. That was the utopia one scientist never stopped wishing for. I'll just stop talking. I'll, I'll speak during the credits. Will the wish for change liked had ever become a reality? For now, you should rest that great power within. For now, enter a time of peace. Still only third X Games, by the way. Yeah. So I've heard X Games, and genuinely, uh, yeah. The Zero thing, it will be explored more of the series. I don't want to give too much away. Just that he is the last of Dr. Wiley's creations, and, uh, well, yeah. Being the same as Dr. Light. Well, that's X being a Roadmaster, is also a Roadmaster. Now, I was quote, now, we'll learn more about Zero's backstory later, but Zero has one of the most interesting backstories in the entire series. But, that'll be explained in X4, which we won't be seeing until we make it to the, well, until we finish this nest. Anyways, I need to be right back, because my cat is meowing at the door, so be right back. Well, my other cat, Cloud. Anyways, see you I'll just let the credits play. is a... yeah. Now for the game itself. This game is still one of my favorite X Games in the entire franchise. It's amazing. It's a, it's a huge step up over the original. Like, it's a, the original is like one of the best platforms of all time, and this one's just more X1, and just improves on a bunch of things. Uh, and basically, the sprite art's better, the, the second armor's still my favorite armor in the franchise, though I didn't get to show off the why too much, because we got it last. Anyways... Introduces air dashing in the franchise. Uh, what else? Uh, well, the, with the ride chaser. Zero's entire backstory of being a Dr. Wily robot. You know, in the actual counterpart to X. Also, Zero, Powder Speed, RP, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, for both X and Zero because you know, they're unknown. Still do not understand how X for the longest time was a B rank nook, uh, well, uh, Maverick Hunter. Also, that's Black Zero. Black Zero would have appeared as a copy Zero if you've, uh, if you fought Zero, if you never collected all the parts. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't have fought him. Uh, Zero instantly kills him. Though, that form gets reused a lot in the series as a unlockable power-up for Zero himself. Being, uh, well... How to explain. Basically, this is a certain type of zero, which basically, uh... Acts as basically an alternate color for zero a lot of time, and also a power-up. But anyways, next time we'll let's play Mega Man X, we're gonna head through X3, which in my opinion is the kind of the weakest of the original trilogy. It, I, I, I think it's just kind of flawed and very bloated. But anyways, see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.